What's good, everybody? Glitchbell23 here. Yo, we got some more Upchurch for y'all guys. We got vinyl today. This was a more recent music video and track. Uh, literally just came out last year. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on in. I really don't know what to expect from a track named Vinyl. And I don't know what y'all's reaction to my first Upchurch reaction for the day was. So, let's just go ahead and check it out. So you got the vinyl, got the record player, Metallica. Sound of vinyl, all like your eyes on mine, and those kisses coming off your lips, all like good music over time. So this is more of a South Southern of church. We're getting out on this one. He sound he sounded like he sounded like a country artist on this one. And honestly, country is not my favorite type of music. It's probably one of my least favorite because that's all I heard as a child. But I will give the singers like country singers credit. Their voices are always nice. It's always it's always a nice voice. The thing that I don't like really about country though, it's always the same content. Like, it's always the same content. So if Upchurch can, like, make his own... Snap, I didn't even... Hold up. Please don't, please don't stop the recording. Did, did you stop it? No, you didn't. Okay. If Upchurch can just do the singing on the chorus and then go off in the verses, that would be nice. But we're about to see what he does with this. God freaking... There we go. All like good music over time. So just place that needle and dim those lights. Let's break out the vinyl. Let time tell us the story of ours. Yeah. Elvis, he said, let, let, let's break out the vinyl. Let's let time tell a story. Okay, so he. Okay. All right, let's see what you do with this. Yeah, let's break out the vinyl. Slow dance under string lights on the porch. In your love, I'll die. Spin it over room five. Wish we could stop time like this record we got in my arm. Wish we could stop time like this record. Hmm. I really like the... Uh, vinyls are so, like... Vinyls were really a piece of like music in general. Like honestly, and that's why I want to start collecting vinyls of albums that I've listened to. I I only got I only got two vinyls. I only got Dr. Dre's The Chronic, and then I have Music to Be Murdered by Side B. Um, I have that one coming in. That probably won't be here until like August. But I want to start collecting vinyls for real though of like some of the albums that I really enjoy. Oh snap! And it's kind of—it's really cool seeing Upchurch with all these like different vinyls that he listened to. You, so I couldn't—I noticed the Elvis Presley one, but I didn't know what the other one, other vinyls were. They look like country vinyls though, for country. Said, turn on the cell phones. Let's just let's just listen to the vinyl. I'm really trying to see what these vinyls are, but they're just going by way too quick quickly. I do like the vibes I'm getting from this one though. Upchurch is singing is pretty nice. Break out the vinyl. When the window is open and the breeze slips on in around two glasses of strawberry wine. Whoa. So this is a very, very type of country song. 
And honestly, I'm messing with it. I really am messing with it. Like, be, like this is what country songs are. But I mean, it's just the, uh, it's just so soothing. I guess you know there are a lot of country songs that are soothing out there, you know, but a lot of them are also very repetitive. And this is like, this is like Upchurch's own take on a country song, and I'm, I'm really messing with it. Singing's kind of reminding me like of no record player from some old farmhouse, getting much better looking with age. So just place that needle and dim those lights. Let's break out the vinyl. Let time tell us the story of ours. Yeah, let's break out the vinyl. God dang, look at up church's feet though. Holy crap. Those suckers are like three times bigger than hers. That's tough. But basically, what he's doing with this one is like saying, like he's going, he's going old school, like kind of love song on this one. You know, love songs like always going, like back in the day. That's what he used to put on, like during a day, like at home or something. You used to put on the vinyl. But now it's it it start it started transforming into to see it went it, CDs and now mainstream you know nobody's doing mainstream so he's going like old school like love type songs with the vinyl I'm re I'm re I'm really messing with this one I really am. That's the story of ours. Yeah, let's break. This one, oh my god, dude, this one, this one is, this one's it for me. This one is it. Like, it's it's just so sweet. It's just so sweet. Honestly, you just get, like, mad, um, I don't know, what is the word? What is the word for it? I don't know, it's just, I, I like how old school this one sounds. I like how old school this one like sounds. We got the vinyl. Ooh, we got the vinyl. Hold up, y'all. I, I was moving the laptop closer. Like a needle to a song, it's my hands on your hips. And a microphone to a hit, it's like my fingers on your lips. So when the song is over, and. Was that a bar of church? Was that a bar? My hands on your hips and a microphone to a hit. It's like my fingers on your lips. So when my microphone to a hit is like my fingers on your lips. Okay. The song is up and we're both asleep. That vinyl gonna tell a story of you and me. So why don't we break? He made this vinyl. Did he make this vinyl song specifically for something like this? That'd be kind of dope, honestly. That's smart on him, you know. That's smart on him, honestly. I really like what the beat's doing here at the end, though. Like just the instrumental. Like there's more like emphasis on it. You can really hear the symbols now. Wish we could stop time like this record we got. In my arms you'll fall like summer rain drops. Somewhere in a cabin deep in the woods, cell phone off. Break out the vinyl. Break out the vinyl. Oh, he's... Look at this. 
since he's over here playing the Elvis Presley from earlier. Dang, bro. I wonder if he. I wonder what if this is like. This all. This sounds like this could be a record where he did like use a sample. Like that'd be kind of dope if he did on this one. But at the same time, if it was unique, that's good for him too. It was produced by Thomas Toner, I think. That one, that one was nice. I really enjoyed that one. Like, it was, it was, it felt like he was, he felt very like sincere about that one. That one was really, that one was really soothing. That's just me. That's just me. And maybe that's just like the fact that I don't listen to country anymore. Maybe that's why. I know it's really hard to live in Texas and like not listen to country, but I mean like it, I, I was just so I was so fed up with it. Like that's all my mom listened to. So as soon as, soon as I got my phone, I was like, you know what? Yeah, let let let's, let's just stop listening to country. But that was very nice. That was very uh, relaxing and it's just very. It felt it had really old school vibes. So I really enjoyed that one. But anyway. We got more Upchurch reactions coming out today, so if you guys are new, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more, turn on the notifications, because we got two more Upchurch reactions coming out. But, um, other than that, thanks for watching. If y'all guys want more Upchurch, let me know in the comment section right now, and I'll see you guys next time.